red beef. It's good to eat. It's it's a steak. That's what's for dinner. What's your plans now? <laughs> that, that's where I'm headed. <laughs> and God bless America today. What are your plans now? You know, uh, I want to want to talk to you a little bit about what happened in this courts this last few days. Uh, Judge Navar Navarro, <coughs> she did the government a very big favor. The federal government a very big favor, and she did the give the uh, did the local government a very good big favor. She protected them. She protected the county sheriff. If we had went on in this court for a, a few more hours, even there would have been a lot of discovery made. There would have been uh, entrapment brought forth. There would have been Lombardo's lies brought forth. There were a lot of things that she covered up and protected from coming to the media and to the people. If we go back to court, they'll all come out. In fact, I was really disappointed when we lost our jury because we had a jury that we could bring this to. What do we have in America if we don't have a jury? The only thing left about the our Constitution is basically our jury. And we, we had a jury set, and we were starting to be able to tell our story to the jury, and we would, uh, there's not a jury in America that would ever convict us. BLM comes to do an BLM, it comes to do an impoundment, it'll be the very same thing as last. We will petition our sheriff to protect our life, liberty, and property. We never had a standoff with the federal government. We had a, a protest of our county sheriff. We asked our county sheriff to disarm the federal government. And he did not disarm the federal bureaucrats. He let we the people go before uh, 150, 200 army of the federal government, putting us, putting uh, not only Bundy's life in the, in uh, a danger, but putting America's people in danger. He allowed us to, he allowed the federal government and their army. When since does the federal government have a, supposed to have an army that comes against we the people? When did that ever happen in America? It happened on Bundy, Bundy Ranch. They stick their, stuck their guns down our throats. And that is definitely not what our founding fathers intended to happen in America. The whole world is looking at us. Why is America acting like this? Why are we allowing the federal government and these bureaucracies to have armies? That's a big question the world wants to know. We're not done with this. If the federal government comes after us again, we will definitely tell them the truth. And that's all we have ever tried to do is tell them the truth. The media needs to wake up and understand what I mean when I say a 15 second defense. I graze my cattle only on Clark County, Nevada land, and I have no contract with the federal government. This court has no jurisdiction over this matter. Do you think there's a place for the BLM in the American West? I think BLM has burnt their uh, last uh, fire. What are your plans now? You know, I don't know what my plans are for sure. I got to go home, spend some time with my wife and my children. Uh, I know they've taken care of the ranch as best they could. Uh, you know, there's a lot of a lot of lot of aiders and abettors here. So, are we going to forgive them all, or are we going to go after them? I don't know. But these aiders and abettors are definitely guilty of taking freedom away from America. Why the two are the haters and abettors? Some of them. There's a there's a. You know, the environmentalists could be a, a big thing, but let me tell you something. The ones that I look at as able to better are the ones that have jurisdiction and authority. Who has jurisdiction and authority in Clark County? Clark County Sheriff, Clark County Commissioner, the Governor of the State of Nevada. Where are they or where are they today? Why aren't they here to celebrate with us today? Because they are, they're, the, they're, the, they're the currents here. They're the ones that didn't protect my life, and liberty, and property. They're the ones that don't recognize statehood uh, and state sovereignty. They're the, rec they're the ones that don't recognize they have policing power. They want to give our policing power to the feds. Can you imagine that with a constitution like we have and, 
and uh, our county sheriff bowing and aiding and abetting and trying to entrap Bundy. You try to indict Bundy under entrapment. You guys don't know about this, but these are things that would have come out. It would have made them all guilty. They're not innocent. How did you get through the, your time in prison? <laughs> let's go breathe some fresh air, brother. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let me, let me to answer this side. lady. You know, I have to give the, my credit to uh, knowing that I was right, knowing that I wasn't guilty. And I had a, a heavenly father that helped me every day. And I, I, I thank you, people. I, I appreciate the media. I appreciate, uh, I, want the, I want the people of the America and of the world to know that I love them. And I want them to know that their heavenly father loves them and knows them. Mr. Bundy, do you have a, ne a next fight in you? Let's let the rest of the for the I want to be able to discuss some of things after you think about it. What's your we next? Have, we want to have a press conference tomorrow, something to discuss as well. I want to have a, what's my next? I don't know what my next is. I just, uh, I've either got to forgive and forget, or I'm going to fight for for rights and freedoms of America. You've been a rancher a long time. What's it like to be something like a national figure, a national celebrity? Well, that's not something I desired. It's not something I've asked for. I, I only want to, you know, I've always said I want to, uh, I want to be able to teach the gospel of the Jesus Christ, and I want to be able to teach and up, uphold the Constitution of America. Thank hey, you. thank you. Thank you, Clyde.